Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a couple of um, projects to share. I also have a small haul. So the first project I wanted to share is um, something that um, I was inspired to create after I s saw something similar in one of our souvenir shops down here. So this is a wreath, let's see, um, yes this way. This is a wreath and in one of the souvenir shops in our area, my sister um, my little sister from Idaho was here for the weekend and um, it was so good seeing her and she wanted to go to one of those tacky um, gift shops, uh, Florida gift shops, you know. So we went and I saw they had a large wreath and it looked like it was created with driftwood and on it, it, it was just very simple with a few shells and starfish and it was just sweet and simple. So I picked up one of these... I believe it's called grape grapevine wreaths from Target. They're three dollars, and I went over it with um, a light, quick coat of gesso, so that you know, or else it would have been too dark, you know. And even though it's wrapped, as you can see, it's wrapped all the way around with this um, um, what do you call this twine. Uh, I still went over different spots with my own twine here in case it did start to come apart so there's like seven spots where I wrapped it like this myself just to be sure that it did stay together so um, I did that and then I gathered some shells that I you know obviously have and have collected and uh, I'll just show you close up of the different things that I've added all the flowers are either prima or Recollections, this is Recollections, this, and this is Prima. So I just, you know, started adhering my flowers and my shell. I added a bit of this netting so that it would show. Um, I did alter some of the flowers with my sprays just real quick to give it a different color tone. Um, it's kind of awkward for me to share, but this is a, a metal rose here, and there is also a piece of metal up here, kind of like a leaf or whatever. I just wanted to incorporate a little bit of metal. I was going to hang charms from it, but um, this will probably go up in the house, and I thought if there was a dangle, it would chip my wall, you know? So I didn't add any charms to it, and then, whoops, this is a... I had a couple of these pieces in my stash. Um, this is another shell, another couple of shells, obviously. After I was done creating it, I, I did go over it with gesso, and this is the other side. Um, here's another one of those pieces from my stash, again with the netting. It's a prima flower. Most of the, this is a spare parts flower. There's my shell. I altered the color of this one a little bit. There's another shell. Um, over here is the metal piece, like the other side. I tried to incorporate a little bit of tur turquoise. And actually, all the flowers that I did use in this project were leftover flowers. Like I had two flowers left in one pack, and a couple flowers left in another pack, so I really wanted to use them up. So I stuck with those flowers, except for the um, these flowers, which are recollections, and I used up a whole pack of those, the smaller little buds that you could find. But except for those, um, for the smaller flowers, the larger flowers are just odds and ends flowers that I've had left over. So I think it came out really cute. I'll put it up in the house. I, I will. I like it. I like the colors. Um, and then I created this box. I altered this box. Excuse me. You know, I subscribed to the Walmart Beauty Box, and I, I've already thrown away, um, I think, one of them, maybe two. I think one of them. Anyway, I, I hate the thought of throwing them away because they come in these really cool boxes, and that's what this is, one of the Walmart beauty boxes. It's made from the heavy chipboard, see? 
made from heavy chipboard and it opens like this, excuse me. Sorry. So it's one of those that opens like this. I'm sure many of you belong to the Walmart beauty, beauty box thing. But anyway, um, it's really heavy duty and I didn't, I, you know, I hate getting rid of it. So I had the beach house paper from spare parts already on my desk from a different project. So that's what I used for this project. Um, I painted the whole box with white gesso and then I papered um, the top and then all along the sides. And then I went over, this is Hobby Lobby trim. So I went over, you know, all the way around with this Hobby Lobby trim. And this is also trim from um, this burlap cording. I forgot what you call it. Anyway, um, it's like that nautical rope. Anyway, um, I went over the whole box, around the whole box with it. I just layered the two. So I thought that was a real cool look. Whoops, sorry. And there's the front. This is a Recollections flower. And obviously I didn't paper um, this lip because I was afraid it would interfere, you know, closing it and whatnot. I also didn't um, paper the inside here. So for the, for the lid, I hope I'm not making you crazy <laughs> moving it about. But for the, for the lid, um, after I did the sides, I took some of this beach netting, um, a scrap that I had, and I laid it out and then um, I took a piece of heavy cardstock and layered it with this paper and then um, I measured it out so that a three and a half by five photo can fit here with a half inch border can fit on the cover here. Um, after each you know layer like the paper I, I did use uh, Mod Podge I did seal it um, and I just went over it with some of the flowers that I had on my desk left over from the little beach album that I created. This is a metal piece, some cheesecloth. These are some of the che um, Tim Coffey la layered shell stickers that I've had. Little hot air balloon charm. These are spare parts, little flowers. Little shell. Another little piece of metal. And then here's another metal. And this, these are probably from Butterbee Scraps. Um, actually, I purchased them a long time ago. And then for the inside, I just, um, again, a three and a half by five photo could fit there. And I did raise it up on, on um, a piece of cardboard so that it would be dimensional off of the box. I thought that would be cool. And the same thing with this one. And again, Recollections Flower, dimensional shell. And here it says Memories. That's an old dollar spot chipboard sticker. And then I did do the sides and when I distressed everything and went over it with walnut stain distress ink. And then there's the inside. Like I said, I didn't paper here because I didn't want, you know, I didn't want the lip to tear it up. I wasn't sure how it would close. So just a simple spot, a box to put um, little doodads and, and, and stuff, uh, beach photos, or maybe I'll create a little mini album for it or something. You know, I didn't want the box to go to waste. <laughs> so that was that. And then I created another decor, you know, de home decor type deal. I picked up a couple of books at um, the Dollar Tree. This is one of them. And see, um, and then I picked up this one. The name of it is The Last Crumb. I don't know what the name of it is. It's Against All Things Ending. I think that's the name of it. Anyway, it was a real thick book. I mean, you know, um, book. And what I did was I distressed all the edges of the paper, all the edges around every side. And I had to do it by hand, not each page individually, but you know, like 20 pages at a time individually because um, you know I couldn't put the book in my distress at all. So after I did that, I inked it all with um, um, the Tim Holtz, vintage, uh, not vintage photo, walnut stain, distress ink. 
really cool, I thought. And then um, I wanted to cover it, and I obviously so that it's going to be in my entranceway, and I want to create this one to sit on top, right? So it was going to be in a beach type theme, but I needed to keep the cover flat because I'm going to put either a picture frame on top or another book on top or just whatever. So um, I decided to cover it in canvas. And this is those canvas sheets that you can find at um, Hobby Lobby by Canvas Core and they're 12 by 12 sheets, very pliable, very easy to work with. So that's what I covered it with. Um, for the inside, um, before I covered it, I went over the inside cover and front page with some of the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper. And I used my gel medium to adhere this, obviously, and then went over it with a light coat of gesso. Um, it came around the edges a little bit. And then I took, I sized out my canvas and wrapped it around the front cover and it came to the middle of the binding. And I adhered the canvas and everything else with Fabri-Tac. Um, it's my new, new favorite thing um, with Fabri-Tac. So, and then after I did both sides, <clears throat> which took two sheets of the 12 by 12 canvas. And see, I did the inside of this too. And um, you see, I just wrapped the canvas, wrapped it there. So after I did both sides, I took a sheet of burlap, which you could also find at Tabby Lobby. They sell near the specialty paper. And um, this, I chose the dark brown burlap and I sized it out and that was my binding. Again, I used Fabri-Tac. And then for the extra soft look of it, I went over it with some of this um, crochet trim from Joann's and some of this pearl trim and this other trim from Hobby Lobby. And I just thought it, came, it gave it a real sweet like a little feminine touch. And I did it to the back as well. So I thought that looked really, really cute. And um, the trims are flat enough where, you know, if I set something on there, it won't be disturbed. And then I had gotten this in a rack. I believe Julie had sent it to me. And um, thank you so much. It's so pretty, this teal crocheted doily. It's just perfect. And like I said, I was going to put something here, like a bottle cap, but I didn't want to make this two-dimensional because I want to set something on top of it. So um, I put the bottle cap here that I had created and just hung some seam binding off the side just as a fun touch. And for the inside pages, um, I did do some stamping. I did lay some random sheet, uh, scraps of beach you know, themed paper that I had on my desk. I did do some random stamping. Um, and I don't know if I'll do anything with the book itself. Maybe I'll put a photo in here or something, but the book is already thick. I can't really do too much unless I, um, I was thinking about adhering pages together and then cutting a, a square in here and making like a little cubby but we'll see, I'll need Joe's help with that. Um, I did test out some of my sprays in here to see you know, how they would work on this paper. And of course they bleed right through. <laughs> I did do some, use my punchinella throughout some of the pages, you know, just, just giving it a little finishing touch, so to speak, you know. But um, for the most part, it's just going to sit in my entranceway on top of the buffet in my entranceway. Um, as decor and then um, I'm going to alter this one as well and this one will sit on top of it you see like that and then a frame on top or something so um, I have a small haul to share and um, I picked up when Michael's had the extra sale I did pick up some of this teal burlap so so pretty um, with the extra 25% off coupon or something, and it was off of sale prices as well, so that turned out to be a deal. There's only three yards, I think, in here, so um, pretty. And then some pink crochet-type ribbon, 
This is really pretty, this soft pink. Um, and you could cut it in half if you want. It's normally $10, which is pretty expensive for this. There's only three yards, but I picked that up. That was all I got at Michael's for their big old coupon sale deal. That was all I got. And then I put in an order with um, Blue Moon Scrapbooking as soon as I saw that they had posted these dies from Tim Holtz. I was so excited the last time there was a release and I, that, and I didn't grab a die that I had really wanted. I had missed out, and um, so I wanted to make sure this was one of the things I knew I was going to get. So I picked up the um, what's the name of this one? Premium? No. What's I don't see a name for this. Isn't that funny? Fresh brewed. <laughs> Fresh brewed. I'm a big coffee drinker. Those of you who know me know I'm a big coffee drinker. So this is so awesome. And I used it and I'll show you how it comes out. And then this one is called Tea Time. So cute. And the little cups fit in each other. And here's the little piece that the die comes with. Just so you could see the size of one of them. And see there's a slit in it. So you could stack your cups awesome so adorable so I'm anxious to use this um, along with the teapot that I got from Diamond Dyes so that would be a great pairing so and let me show you how the coffee cups came out so cute oh my goodness <laughs> look is that adorable and obviously next time I do this I'm going to cut this out of clear acetate like it has in the picture you see, they use clear acetate. Um, but, you know, I just did this real quick to check out the sizing and stuff in the straw. Adorable. My goodness. I can't hardly stand it. <laughs> Look at that. And with the coffee warmers, I'll be cutting those out of, like, corrugated, um, that corrugated paper from DCWV or something. We're using my paper crinker, crinkler, whatever it's called, to create that. But... I just created these really quick to get an idea as to how adorable it really was. <laughs> it looks like it's really, really adorable. Look at this. Just like a Starbucks. It looks just like a Starbucks. So cute. And then this one. Adorable. So sweet. So I got those. Um, those dies. And then... Um, to make up the $50, because it ships free for $50, if you spend $50, I picked up another set of the watercolor pencils from Prima, and this one's called Scenic Root, and I opened it, and these are so nice, I just have to tell you. Um, it's no wonder they sell out so quick, seriously. Let me show you. Really nice beautiful colors so yeah I'm anxious um, to get to you know get better at this and then I picked up the little um, this goes to it doesn't say but it's a little script stamp from the, one of the new releases um, to make up the $50 so those are my projects that is my little haul and um, I'm sure I'll talk to you all soon. I'm in the project. I also picked up last week at Michael's a bunch of the storage um, container, not containers. Um, you know those pretty boxes that they have, decorative boxes. Um, I picked up a, a couple of those. I'm redoing some storage in my scrap room, I'm trying to make it more friendly. <laughs> so. Um, that's what's keeping me busy the last couple of days. So when I'm done with that, um, I'll let you know. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.